The size of the core has been carefully considered in terms of its total forecasted demand. So what we're looking at is really the next 10 to 15, 20 years of development and what we can expect in terms of the economy of Christchurch and the surrounding region. The areas have been looked at in terms of commercial uses, retail uses, some leisure, um, and essentially what type of markets we're, we're looking to support. So we know we've got tourism, health, education, you know, biz business services. Um, and that forecasted demand is really what we've scaled to get the right volume and capacity within the city and also starting to look at the heights and scale and massing of some of that built environment. That scale, that quantum of development has really determined the height and massing of the city centre. So we're really looking at a sort of six to seven storey um, development form and this works exceptionally well with the scale of the streets that's existing and inherent from the historic layout of the colonial grid. The scale of the grid is, is very large and what that means is it's actually a long distance between places of choice or ways to move through the city centre. So you end up walking 200 metres before you can actually turn left or right, which is great if you're in a retail district, but if you're actually looking to move between A and B, some shortcuts are really the desired effect from, from citizens using a city. So tertiary and secondary seats. Uh, streets such as laneways actually moving through the blocks is something that's kind of inherent in the development of the blueprint. So really looking at the finer grain and slowing things down in the city centre.